welcome back to the keep living motor vlog i am the kl rider so i've uh, been away for a while i uh, had a little bit of a vacation we're back to doing more videos so this video is going to be about uh clutch control and we're going to give all you new riders brand new riders whether you've been riding for a while and you need to learn something a little bit different i'm going to show you guys actually how i use my clutch and i'm going to show you something that uh that maybe nobody's really shown you before um so let's get into it and if you pair this video with one of my uh, latest videos which is throttle control when you apply that video with this video right here i think this is really going to help you be uh, a better rider so let's get into this clutch control stuff <laughs> your clutch lever and this is one of the biggest problems that we as new riders um, have and I've had this problem too as well and I kind of shaped it up a little bit um, to make it a little bit easier for me to remember all right so as you can see now the clutch is actually open all right this is an open clutch that means once the bike is on your bike is going to be able to move when you take the clutch and you close it all the way in this is when you shut off the power going to the rear wheel and eventually your bike will start slowing down um, in increments until it comes to a stop depending on how fast or how slow that you're that you're going but this is the problem this is the biggest problem that we as new riders have all right so everybody knows what feathering the clutch means feathering the clutch means pretty much finding the engagement point between your clutch and this bar to where the power shuts off. So you're playing between when the power is on and when the power shuts off. This is what we're gonna do, all right? So we're gonna play the piano. And basically what I mean, one, two, three, four. These fingers right here, with your thumb, when your thumb is wrapped around the bar right here, once you take your, your index finger, one. Middle finger, two. Ring finger, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So your thumb is holding on to your bar. That's locking onto your bar. Your fingers right here, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, I'm slowly bringing it in. Slowly bringing it in. Slowly bringing it in. Friction zone. So my friction zone is, a, is about right here. And that's kind of where you want it. Um, because like I said, you know, it's, you'll be able to shift a whole lot quicker and faster when your shift is a little bit towards the middle or towards the high end up here. So like I said, you don't want your shifting to be all the way back here to pull in the clutch in order for you to do what you got to do. All right, so your thumb is here. Play the piano. Do. Do, 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 And as you do that, you're bringing it in, bringing it in, bringing it in. And now you're feathering the clutch. You can feather with this finger. You can feather with this finger. Feather with this finger if you're leading a little bit more. When you need to start the leading out, you start releasing each individual finger. You see what I'm saying? When you start releasing out, you start releasing each individual finger. So that's how you play with your that's how you play with your friction zone right there. A lot of people just say play with the friction zone. You can do it with all four fingers if you want to. But here's the problem when you when you do it with when you do it with all four fingers. The problem is that when you're actually doing a turn and you feel like your bike is gonna drop, what's the first thing that we do when we feel like our bike is gonna drop? We pulled in the whole entire clutch. Now we done shut off the power going to the rear wheel. We're in the middle of a turn. Now our bike is going to feel like we're going to fall. We're going to fall right over. The goal is, while you're turning, the goal is, if you're feeling like you're going to fall, the goal is to release the clutch. You release the clutch. Release the clutch. So by you playing with your fingers like this, you're not totally bringing in the clutch all the way. You're out here, so if you get scared, release the clutch. You're not pulling it in, you're releasing. So 
It's a mindset. So your mind is telling you since your fingers are already out right here, oh my God, I'm going to drop the bike. Boom, I'm, I'm releasing it right here. You may not be able to see my fingers, but that's why I showed you earlier um, about where my fingers are. You see where my fingers are? And you see where my throttle hand is at. So we're going to start going. We're going to start giving this some throttle. As you can see how I'm giving it throttle, but I still have the clutch with my index finger is still in. My index finger is still in, so I'm going slow. You see my index finger? Now when I want to make a turn, I just turn, index finger. And this is how you make a turn, You're going to the right. Some throttle. Just like that. So that way you don't overshoot what you're doing. I'm put it up in first gear. So I'm riding, you look at my fingers, I'm just, you know, chilling, you know, both my hands. I'm getting ready to come to a curve. So I got a lady come in, I wanna slow down, I'm rear braking. I'm pulling in my clutch. And you look at my hand, I'm still giving the throttle, but look at my, my finger. You see my finger? Look at my finger. It's just that one little finger was pulling in the clutch playing with the friction zone. You see how, you see that noise? I'm giving it a lot of throttle. I'm not going nowhere because look at my finger. That's what you want to do. So you can use your index finger or your, uh, your middle finger. All right, we're coming around a curve. Look at my finger. You see my finger? Now I'm getting off it, letting the throttle through this thing. I'm coming to some speed bumps. I slow down. I go in between. This is my finger. Look at my finger. The car is coming. I'm going to go to the right side. Pulling the clutch. You see how that? Slow down a little bit. All with my finger right here. You know what I mean? Just with my finger, my two fingers. Coming around a curve. <clears throat> you look at my fingers. <clears throat> Gonna make a left. My fingers. Coming up. See, I'm giving it throttle and I still got my fingers here, so I'm not going nowhere. Look at my fingers. Boom. Just like that. So when you look at my throttle here, remember how I told you how to use the throttle and how to control it doing so speed maneuvers where you're already here, you're going down, you're just rear braking. This slow, you don't need front brake. No front brake. I got throttle, my finger on my left hand side. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm in second gear, so I got to remember that. You can't really do this in high gears like this. You got to make sure that you in at least first gear. I was in second, so I started to buck a little bit because I started to go a little bit too slow. So I'm still staying in second gear just for demonstration purposes. You look at my hands. I'm not doing anything with my hands. I'm coming on a little mini curve. I got my hip fingers on my clutch, just my fingers. Just my fingers, okay? I got another uh, curve. I'm going to... Slow down. I'm gonna bring in my fingers just a little bit. Got the engine. You see how much I got the engine going, but look at my fingers. When I let out, when I let out, the bike goes. You get what I'm saying? Now I'm slow down, get off the throttle. Fingers. Let me show you a little trick here. I'm gonna do some pauses. Do some pauses right here. You see this? This is all throttle. This is all throttles. And with my and with my finger. You see my fingers? I'm not gonna drop the bike. I'm not gonna drop the bike. I'm giving it throttle. You see I'm giving it throttle. I'm not even using rear brake. Look at the mouse power I'm going. See the miles powers that I'm going? It's four miles an hour. 
Now I'm going to go. <clears throat> All right, so this is a dead end. I got my fingers here. We're going to do a U-turn, engaging the clutch, looking where I want to go. Boom, just my index finger. If you look at my index finger, that's all the friction zone that I needed to make that U-turn. Come here, need to make a U-turn. You can use rear brake if you want to. Throttle, clutch, just my index finger to do that U-turn. It's as simple as that. All right, so I'm coming to a left turn. Got my clutch throttle. I'm using my middle finger this time. That's all I'm using is just these. It's just these two fingers right here, basically. I didn't even use the third finger yet. Clutch. You know when you're using the clutch, when you feel you pull it in and you're giving it throttle and the bike is not going nowhere. That's how you know you're giving it clutch, but you're slowing it down at the same time. Going to a turn. Clutch, a little bit of clutch. And you don't have to, but I'm just showing you for demonstration. Just showing you for demonstration purposes. There you go. Keep it's as simple as that, guys. Keep leaving.